Hello everyone, welcome my dear students to India's first animated live tuition. I want all of you to get ready over there. So I welcome everyone again to 90 plus my tuition app family. So let's go ahead with a brand new session till now. We were discussing the numericals of reflection, right? So everyone is like, sir, I'm, we are done with reflection. Can you please go ahead with refraction? So yeah, this is the day we are going to go ahead with refraction today. So in the meantime, I hope everyone have revised all the concepts of reflection. So before we begin, the question answer session is on your way. So quickly revise everything we have learned till now. Questions are coming your way. I want precise answers from everyone. It's not, it'll not be like just the imposition. I'll be noting your name and multiple escalations. You won't be there in my future sessions. You'll be in the waiting room. So if your parents ask why, why he is in the waiting room or why she is in the waiting room, I'll just communicate with them. They are not learning. It's not something like a radio class, you can just listen to it. No, you have to put efforts by from your side. So you should put efforts from your side. Those who are there for my sessions, please do revise all the particular concepts we learned till now. Quickly, quickly, everyone, real quick. Do it real quick. Yes, Aris, unmute Aris Abbas. Hi, Aris. What's your concern? Uh, sir, last class, I was and I couldn't watch the so yeah so you uh, yeah so you're asking last class uh, I need to summarize yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, Aris did you request the admin team for the link of the live session which you missed yeah, they gave the link, but I see you couldn't video. you couldn't watch it first watch it yeah. then we'll give a recap uh, okay. anyways I'll help you out Aris we didn't, we didn't discuss any particular concept. We have just discussed numerical problems. Numericals, no concepts. Unmute Iris. We didn't, you didn't miss any particular concept, not even a single concept. So uh, you can imagine, right? We can't give a recap, what should I do? Take the yeah, question. Yeah, 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 we can't do that. So we have just solved and solved the numericals. We didn't de uh, do any, we didn't discuss any particular new concept. So don't worry. You didn't miss any concepts. You have missed some numerical questions. That's it. Understood. We didn't start refraction yet, and today is the day we are going to start refraction today. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, fine. So I hope you guys do remember the magnification formula, the mirror formula, the application of it, the Cartesian sign convention, image formation in concave mirror and convex mirror. Real quick. Yes. Okay. Malav guys sharing. Sir, I have till refractive index for my PT1 exam. Don't worry. We'll discuss refractive index in the coming sessions. So today we'll have an introduction of refraction. Fine. So uh, whom will we call? We will call Ritika, right? Ritika in the middle. Yes. Hi, Ritika. Hi, sir. Have you revised the concepts of reflection of light? You did right. Very good. So, Ritika, tell me if I have kept the object in the case of a concave mirror at the center of curvature or at C, where will I get the image of it? You will get the image at C. You will get the image at the center of curvature itself. Very good. How about its size? It will be the same size. It will be the same size of the object. What about its nature? Real and inverted. Applause. Applause for Ritika. Everyone. So what is that done is? You are not just appreciating Ritika. You are improving, improving your blood circulation levels. So your body will be very active. So very energetic in the session. And Ritika is like, sir, this is not fair. Everyone clap for me. Fine. Very good. Ritika, keep, keep up the good work. Yes. Unmute Mohammed Shad, right? Mohammed Shad. Can you please unmute yourself over there, right hand? Yes. So when I call someone's name, no, please do raise your hand so, so that Shweta ma'am can find him easily. Mohammed Shad, you're supposed to raise your hand. Mohammed Shad is looking down. Mohammed Shad, right? Yes, on the left hand. Yes, over there. Hello, sir. 
Your name is Mohammed Shad, right? Yes, sir. Why you didn't raise your hands? I told you. When I call a name, raise your hands. Not fair. What happened? Yes, sir. Next time. Next time. Okay. So, yeah, that's okay. But have you revised? Um, no, Not really, sir. To be honest, don't kill me. I didn't revise. So, uh, Mohammed Shad, what do you expect? Uh, you will just listen to every session or... What happens over there in your end? You can say, sir, I had all these things happening, so cause of that, or some personal issues were there. I was in depression, my girlfriend left me. Is it something like that, Mohammed Shah? No, 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 no. Nothing like that, right? You're not in that sad mode, coming back, like uh, what you say in India, there are reference movies like Arjun Reddy and all. Depressed. Nothing like that. So, Mohammed Shah. Why you didn't revise? Give me a solid reason. Yesterday I didn't get time. Yesterday you didn't get time. Then what about day before yesterday? Don't give me lame reasons like, sir, I ate a full pot of biryani, so cause of that I slept whole day, so I couldn't revise. Don't say, sir, uh, pizzas are my favorite, so I was into Domino's all day, so I was very busy eating. Give me some solid reasons. What made you feel like, yes, I won't revise, let, let the tutor have fun, let him discuss reflection, tomorrow he'll discuss refraction, who cares? Is it like that, Shah? Yeah, nothing, like that. nothing like that. Then, I expect some efforts from your side. Do you know the mirror equation at least? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, 1 by F plus 1 by B plus 1 by U. 1 by F plus, 1 by V plus, 1 by U. What, what do you mean by equation? And what, what do you mean by an equation? Equation means what? It will have an equal to sign, right? Where is yeah, this yeah, yeah. equal to sign in your equation? Sir, I am going to say equal to. 1 by F equal to 1 by F plus. 1 by, one by F equal to 1 by U equal to 1 by U. Okay. Equal to. 1 by F is equal to 1 by U, that is equal to 1 by V. Equal to everywhere? Mohammed Shah. 1 by F equal to 1 by V plus 1 by U. Yes, exactly. So what we will be doing, Mohammed Shah, write the mirror equation 10 times. Okay, right away, right away. In 2 minutes I need it, real quick. So Mohammed Shah is like, yeah sir, uh, it's not something like imposition. You are learning it, Mohammed Shah. Got it? It's just for your betterment. It will be uh, registered over there. For your exams, you won't be forgetting it. Sir, I have written it, so I know it. So you should have that mentality. Unmute Hana Fatima. Hi, Hana Fatima. Right hand. Yes. Yeah. Hi, sir. Have you revised Hana Fatima? No, sir. I was having exams. How many days you got? When was our last physics session? Monday. Was on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today is Friday, right? Biryani, pizza, or burger? No. Then three days, what were you doing? I was having PT one exam. So. You were having exams. So for exams, you guys don't have this chapter light. No, I was having electricity. Electricity. So you didn't get time to revise. At least have revised a little bit portion. A little bit. Very small portion. Imagine you are not eating the whole biryani. You are just taking the leg piece. That's it. Or else, imagine you are eating paneer butter masala. You are just taking one piece of it. Yeah, I know the mirror equation. You do remember the mirror equation. Go ahead. One by F is equal to one by U plus one by V. One by F is equal to one by U plus one by V. Sure? It's wrong, right? Mirror equation. That's correct. That's correct. You should have the confidence. You have learned something. You should be confident enough. So, Hannah Fatima, let me know what is this magnification formula? Uh, minus V by U is equal to H I by H O. Okay. What is this HI high or what? No, uh, height of the height. Height of the? Height of the, uh, height of the image. 
height of the image. What is h rho? Ho? Height of the object. What is this minus v by u? Minus v is the image distance and u is the object distance. u is the object distance and v is the image distance. Fine, very good. So I spare you since you have answered something. And Shad was like, sir, 1 by f plus 1 by v plus 1 by u. Shad, no. Shad is like, no, sir, I won't make a mistake next time. I'll be a pro. Fine. So very good. Hana Fatima, I expect you to revise everything by the next time I ask you. Put some efforts. Just 5 10 minutes. Sit for it. In one single session, how many topics do I discuss? Just barely one or two topics. If I'm doing numericals, barely two, three numericals. That's it, right? Do I go ahead real quick? 10, 15 numericals in one single session? No, right? I put that efforts, extra efforts for whom? For me to learn it better? No, right? It's just for your level of understanding for each and every minor calculations I'm discussing over here. Why? I want you guys to get that concept. I know you guys have school, you guys have a lot of work over there. So alongside you have to put efforts for this as well. So if I give you, give you a big amount of big lot of work, it will be burden for you guys. I don't want that to happen. I do understand your side. When I was a student, right? Is it like oh, Manoj sir, directly a tutor? Fine. Just born yesterday, came as a tutor today. No, right? So, what will be happening? You guys should revise the things which I give you. Is something which is feasible for you guys, right? You guys can put some efforts for it. Very less amount of concept I'm discussing each and every day. Nashwa Fatima is so disturbed. Hi, Nashwa Fatima. Can you please unmute yourself? Right and yes, down there. Nashwa Fatima, very disturbed, sir. Please start the session. Don't ask questions. I know everything. I was talking to my mom. Okay, you were talking. Fine. So, Nashwa Fatima, have you revised everything? Yeah. Done? Sure. Can I ask you questions? If I keep the object at infinity in the case of a concave mirror, where will I get the image? At F, what is this F? Focus. At the principal focus. So what about, don't support your job. Fine. So what about the nature of it? Uh, it will be highly diminished one size. The nature of it. I didn't ask you the size of it. I okay. asked about the nature. I mean, don't say sir, environment, trees and all is its nature. Real and inverted. What about its size? Highly diminished point size. Fine. Very good. Nashwa Fatima. I appreciate it. So when you are in the session, guys, if you are supporting your job, your brain will be passing a signal. Nashwa is on rest mode. What you can do? You can just sleep or chill out over there. So if you need some extra concentration for your body, Train your body to sit properly in the session. If you are supporting your jaw or your head, if you are resting your head anywhere, you won't get concentration. Not, not only during the session, when you are learning something, imagine you are learning uh, for your school's exams or school tests or something, please don't support your jaw and learn. It won't be helpful for you guys. Because half of your brain will be brain activity will be reduced. You can Google it if you feel like to know more about it. Fine. Yes. Aris Abbas, can you please unmute yourself? Yes, 1 by v is equal to u minus f divided by u into f. Yes. So then when you like put in the formula, it's 1 by v plus 2 minus 30 plus 20. First take the reciprocal in the formula itself. Make it as v is equal to u into f divided by u minus f. Understood? Make it like that. Then do the calculation part and do it. Uh, yeah, make sure it's con it's a concave mirror. Yes. Okay, the calculation part I need to check. I need to check the calculation part. So, so I got the answer 6, but then the answer was 60. 6, six when the answer was? 60. Answer was 60 and you got 6. 
आंसर वाज सिक्स बै व्हेन आई डिस्कस्ड ओके यू गॉट द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम स्कूल डू वन थिंग if if it's it's if it's a small question if you can take a very less amount of time to type it down type it down chat box okay got it so that either i will take it or shweta ma'am will give you the answer and mid hosana sana ji chako also please check whether we have aslam today aslam yes hosana can you please unmute yourself mm -hmm. so sana you just join today or what <coughs> Sir, you are there. Right? Okay. So you just joined in the previous session. No, I was here. I was From here. the beginning itself, you were there, right? Fine. So have you revised? Yes. Yes, but not sure. Making faces, sir. Just ask me two three questions. So Mukda is really sharing. Sir is making us hungry. Fine. Sorry, I won't share about about food items from now on. Yes. Uh, yes. Who was that? I forgot the name. Hosanna. So Hosanna, unmute yourself. Raise your hand. Where are you? I'm searching you. Fine. So Hosanna, please do let me know. If I keep mm -hmm. an object in front of a convex mirror, where will I get the image? At infinity or anywhere, anywhere. In front of the mirror or in front of a convex mirror, where will I get the image? In the case of convex mirror. At infinity. At infinity. Okay. In the case of convex mirror, we'll get the image at infinity. There is only one single case you have to remember in the case of image formation of a convex mirror. Who wants to answer? Only one single case you have to remember. In the case of convex mirror, unlike concave mirror, it has only one single situation to remember. Always the image will be formed. Image will be formed where? Yes, uh, we'll call Jershom. Jershom Anson and we Jershom on top right sir. Yes. Jershom, if I'm keeping an object in front of a convex mirror, where will I get the image? Just show my there and meet yourself. I can't hear you. Very good. Some of you are sharing the answers in the chat box. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. So just show them real quick. Yes, 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 Jerome. A lot of you are sharing the answers. Log it. Your mic is not working. Try talking, Jershom. Try talking something, say something, without speaking, how can we check out? Say hi or something. Do one thing, disconnect your earphones. If you're plugged into your earphones, disconnect it. Headphones disconnected. Try now, give the join audio option. Quick, quick. So in the meantime, we'll call Hanny. Honey Lezon, yes. Honey, right? Honey or honey? Honey. Honey. Yes, honey, can you please unmute yourself? Honey is also, sir, my mic has some problem. So, anyways, Joshua, we have noted it down. You have to fix it by the next session. One single warning. Honey. Unmute yourself. You are you are on mute. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes. yes. So, honey, do let me know if I keep an object in front of a convex mirror, what will happen? Where will I get the image? Real quick. You're consuming a lot of time uh, for the question. Between the uh, focus and the pole. We'll get the image between the focus and the pole. No, if the uh, object is between the infinity and the pole, then uh, the image will be between the pole and the focus. Not at all. In the case of convex mirror, there is only one case you have to remember. Two cases we are considering. In both the cases, the image will be formed which side of the mirror. Yeah, I'll tell you the answer. You're supposed to write it down. 
five times, honey. Got it? You didn't revise. From your face, I can understand. And from your answers, it's reflecting. We are, we are, we are learning reflection, right? But it's reflected on your face, sir. I didn't revise, so I'll just listen to it. Honey, you're not watching any movie or something. I hope you know it. One final warning. Got it? Got it? Fine. You can mute yourself. Unmute Path. Hi, Path. Yes, Path. Go ahead. If I'm keeping an object in front of the in front of a convex mirror, what will happen? Where will I get the image? Behind the mirror. Heard it, honey? Always. In the case of a convex mirror, we'll get the image behind the mirror. So, Path, what about the nature of it? Oh, it's virtual and erect. It's virtual and erect. In the case of convex mirror, always virtual and erect. Please don't forget it. Fine. Very good, Path. You can mute yourself. I appreciate it. Closes. Fine. Yes. Uh, yes. It would not be according to the... If it's drawn like C, it would not be according to the sign convention. Right? Evelyn. And mute Evelyn. Yes. So, understood. Your doubt is, oh God, where is the pen? Pen went into what? Fine, just a second, guys. Double, sir. Not coming. Yes. Not yet. Just a second, Evelyn. So, your doubt is, yes, I also will be fixing it in the meantime. So, your doubt is, when we are considering the Cartesian sign convention, if we consider the concave mirror in the shape of a C, will it be possible to check out that positive and negative side of it, right? Yeah. So, if we are considering the uh, concave mirror like C, Based on the Cartesian sign convention, it will be a convex mirror. Understood. It has a standardized format to apply the mirror formula in the Cartesian sign convention. Understood, Evelyn? Okay. So, you can't... Not possible yet. So, you can't consider... You can't consider... The Cartesian... You can't consider the mirror the other way. That is, in the form of a C. You can't consider the concave mirror in the form of a C in the case of Cartesian sign convention. There is a standardized format for for it. That is why it is considered as negative to the left hand side, positive to the right hand side, upward, positive, downward, negative. Understood? Because if you don't have any standardized format, no, it's not possible to figure it out, right? Imagine. Understood, Evelyn? Your doubt is very good. I appreciate it. It's just that we can't jumble the position of the orientation of the mirror. So the Cartesian sign convention can't be applicable for it. Always for every particular physical quantity in physics, what we'll have, for example, if we are considering velocity, you can get velocity in kilometer per hour as well. But what are we doing? We are considering it in meter per second as the SI unit, standardized unit. But if you ask me, so can we consider velocity in terms of kilometer per hour as well? Yes, you can. But standardized format is meter per second. So you have to convert. And in the Cartesian sign convention, if, if there is a particular diagram where the concave mirror is in the other way, oriented, oriented the other way, so you have to correct it. You have to correct it because we have a standardized format for it. So if you are drawing it like C, Based on the Cartesian sign convention, it will be a convex mirror. It won't be a concave mirror. Got it, everyone? Note your head. Note your head. So, and the guys like, got it. Fine. So, guys, you know it. If you understood the concepts, you have to note your head like a puppet. Fancy puppets are there, right? Like this. Fine. So, yes, yes. Hopefully, better than red, right? Better than red. We'll go ahead with white today. So, who wants to answer next? Time is going ahead real quick. Nashua is already disturbed. Sir, please go ahead. Uh, we can call. We can call? Adwait. 
Yes, Advait. Unmute Advait. Where is Advait? Guys, when I call your name, no? Please do raise your hands so that we can save some time. Yes, Advait. Unmute yourself. You have Thank your you. science exam tomorrow, right? No, tomorrow, sir. I have on June 12th. June 12th? Yes, sir. Today is, so is just May 12th. We have time. one more month to go. Anyways. Which are all the chapters? Sir, only one chapter, electricity. Electricity, okay, fine. Don't worry. Hopefully by that time we will finish light, I guess. But, in the meantime, do put your efforts with what you have learned from the school. And a week before your exam, please do, if it, we'll have a session, right? So in that session, please do inform me. Either at the end of the session or in the meantime, I'll help you out. Understood? If I give you the important yes. ones and topics right away, you know, by June 12th, Advait is like, yeah, everything managed. Understood? Do you have any other doubts yes. related to light? Not yet, right? No, sir. Unmute Sridhya. Where is Sridhya? Sridhya hand raised. Ran away or what? Sridhya. Yes, Sridhya. So, Sridhya, you wanted to answer or you have a query? No, fan. Fan? For answering. For answering. Fine. So Sridhya, please do let me know if I keep the image at the focus in the case of concave mirror, where will I get the image? If I keep the object at F. Object at F. Where will I get the image? Everyone, drop your drop the answers in the chat box. In the case of concave mirror. In case of a concave mirror, at F, object at F, where will I get the image? The, uh, Come again? It passes through the center of the curvature. It will pass through the center of curvature. No. Imagine we are considering a concave mirror, principal axis, and I am keeping the object at F. Think about it. Object at F. One ray like this and the other one like this. Where will we get the image? Think about Behind it. The, uh, Behind the mirror is in the case of Paul and uh, if the fo uh, object is within the focus, right? This is the object is at the focus. So, uh, Sridhya, please do let me know. If an incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, how will it reflect back? If an, if a ray of light is incidenting parallel to the principal axis, as you see here, how will it reflect back? Remember, do you remember the rules? The focus. It will pass through the focus, right? So this ray will pass through the focus. Now, this ray which is incidenting to the pole will obliquely, will obliquely reflect through the, with the, with the same angle at the pole itself with the same angle. So like this, you can consider like this, like this. So will we get an image anywhere over here at C or beyond C or something? Not possible, right? So where will we get the image? Where will we get the image? Be not behind the center of curvature. You can't say, sir, it's behind the center of curvature since it's in infinity. You're supposed to answer it is at infinity. Got it, Sridhya? Understood, Sridhya? Sridhya? Is your voice breaking or are trying to answer? Understood? Okay. The ray of light will go. Like this, and the next ray which is incidenting to the ball will go like this, and the image will be formed at infinity. Got it? So, we won't get a focused mm -hmm. image. So, if we keep the object at F, we'll get the image at infinity. Do you remember the rules? If the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis coming from infinity, we'll get the image at focus. If the object is kept at focus, we'll get the image at infinity. It is the other way. Got it? And regarding the image formation, do you remember the uh, the technique which we used? 
So this is infinity. If if we keep the object at infinity, we'll get the image at the focus. If we keep the object beyond C, we'll get the image. We'll get the image over here. If we keep the object at C, this is C. Okay, this is C, and this is F. So if we keep the object at C, we'll get the image at C also. Mm -hmm. If we keep the object within C and F, we'll get the image beyond C. If we keep the object at F, object at F, we'll get the image mm -hmm. at infinity. Understood? This is the technique. This is how you can remember regarding the image formation. Got it? Everyone, those who are not, those, yeah. Shridhya, what you'll be doing? Write five times. If we keep the object at the focus, we'll get the image at infinity. Five times. Go ahead, real quick. It's not something like imposition. Later on, you won't forget it. It'll be registered in your mind for that. And those who didn't, those who are not aware of this technique, please do note it down. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And mark C and F. So this is C, and this is F. So this C and F, please don't forget for your reference. So, anyone else any doubts? Fun. Infinity, highly enlarged and real and inverted. Yes, very good. Dhruv, Javan, Putra, some of you are sharing the answers. So, did we learn the image formation for concave lens and convex lens? No. We have, we have just started. We'll be starting refraction today. That's it. We'll just have the introduction of refraction today. And we'll go ahead with uh, the lenses and all by the next session, hopefully. Or if possible, if we get time, we'll start away in today's session itself. Let's see. Don't worry. Concave and convex lenses are not discussed yet. Don't worry. We're yet to start it. Aris, what's, what's your doubt or query cleared? Give me a thumbs up if it was cleared. Fine. So if it's cleared, Shweta ma'am, you helped him, right? Shweta ma'am is like, yeah, I did the job. Say thanks to me. Yeah, thanks for sharing that, ma'am. So, guys, let's go ahead. So, today Rahul Sav is our host and Shweta ma'am is our support tutor. So, I hope you do remember. So, I hope I'm not asking much questions. No more question answer session. So, those who didn't get the questions, you guys got escaped. So, I have a belief in my mind. My students are revising. You guys are learning. So, someday, I obviously, I'll give a shot to you. I'll be firing some questions and if you go if you didn't give the answers no you'll be shot dead right away in the zoom application itself so which means you'll be either in the waiting room or you won't be able to join my future sessions hope you know it so the thing is the thing is please do revise guys just think about yourself you should be the best person tomorrow try to improve yourself you're competing to you it's always you versus you if you know the concept, no, you are someone knowledgeable, you can use it somewhere. Got it? It's not something like, yeah, I learn for the tutor. Since, so that if I learn, I can answer the questions. No. If you learn, you are getting better every day. Got it? You will score marks, you will have knowledge, you can apply it anywhere. Got it? So be responsible for yourself. Work on yourself. Improve yourself, fight for yourself. Understood? So it's not something like always don't compare yourself with your friends. Don't think like, okay, he got 10 marks, I got only 8. So I'll fight to be him. No. You'll fight. You should be unique. You should find your own ways. Got it? And still, if you, what are we doing? We, what, we are actually pushing you guys, right? We are just giving some extra adrenaline. That's it. We are not someone, some magicians to give, to give everything just in the session. You should put efforts from your side. We teachers, what are we doing? We are just explaining it. Guys, this is how this happens. This is how we can solve it. We are just giving some support for you guys. You guys should put efforts from your side. If you are not doing that, what is the point of attending the sessions regularly? I hope you know it. Got it? So, I expect 
So it's, this is the initial sessions, right? Initial sessions, we have just started the chapter light. We have re we have completed reflection anyways. So in the, we are in the beginning part of this academic year. So that is why I'm not imposing some strict measures. So I, I feel like, okay, they, they are coming back to the track. Once we are on the track, no, once we get into the core, I won't be tolerating. Not even a single student in my session won't be sitting there without revising or learning the concepts. We can have fun, we'll, I'll be very friendly, we can introduce some games as well during the session. So, if you are sitting in a one and a half hour session, half an hour we'll be having fun. We'll be just interacting and I'll be teaching only very few topics. It will not, not be a very big burden for you guys. Some of you will be feeling why tutor is just interacting, not giving more concepts. Guys, you guys are learning everything in school. So you guys, some extra works coming from your school as well. Homeworks will be there. Some projects or assignments will be there. We should respect that. We should not be like, yeah, learn the entire light chapter today itself, everything. No, right? We do understand your efforts. So some of you were sharing, so I, so I had uh, PT1 exams going on in my school, so I couldn't learn. But still, you should have a look at it. At least the basics you should answer. So who, who was that? Hana Fatima, right? Hana Fatima gave me an excuse. But still she answered what is mirror equation, what is uh, magnification formula and all. I'm happy. At least she knows that. She has put some minor efforts. Fair enough. I'm happy. Imagine if she is not answering anything. Zero response. Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star. How oh, I wonder what you are. I'll be like, bro. Not fair. Got it? So at least the basic minimum efforts you should put. Yes. Unmute Dev Narayanan. So we can have, we can have the sessions more friendly, chill, fun, vibe for sure. But I should get that response from you guys. Yes Dev Narayanan, go ahead. What's your doubt? So in diffraction of light, we will learn something like convex lens with concave lens, right? Yes, for sure. Uh, um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Fun. Yes. Uh, Reem Sheikh is sharing. Sir, motivational speech, sir. Good. Not at all a motivational speech. So, from my experience of dealing with students, I know. I know your efforts. I understand your side a lot. I'm someone who interacts with students a lot. I love that. Why I'm calling everyone and asking, okay, did you play in the evening? What is your favorite sport? What's up over there? Why should I ask all that? Your personal matters. I should, I'll be like, who cares? Why should I ask? Nashua, Fatima, what were you doing over there? Are you disturbed? Are you confused? I can just directly ask, right? Nashua, Fatima, what is the refraction of light? Or tell me the mirror formula. I'm not doing it. Why? I do understand your side. I'm not like, okay, today itself, tell everything and write 100 times in position and submit, send it. No, I'm just asking it to do it right away, right? I hope Mohammed Shah has written the imposition. Admit Mohammed Shah. Show it to the camera, Mohammed Shah. Shweta ma'am. When Mohammed Shah unmuted, no? Shweta ma'am muted him again. Not fair. Everyone make faces for Shweta ma'am, weird faces. Small mistake, sir. Fine. So Shweta ma'am is like, don't, don't blame me, I didn't do anything. Yes, Mohammed Shah, show it to the camera very close and remove your virtual background. Very close, Shweta ma'am. Yes. So yes, you can say, what is the mirror formula, Mohammed Shah? Don't look at your book. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, 1 by F equal to 1 by U plus 1 by V. 1 by F is equal to 1 by U plus 1 by V. Very good, Mohammed Shah. So, in the next session, will you forget? You won't, right? No, no, no. Okay, okay, fine. So, put some efforts, guys. Put some efforts. And with Sridhya, Sridhya Suresh, did you write the imposition? So, also on, oh, Sridhya is there on top, right hand. Yes, Sridhya Suresh. Shridhya, did you write the homework? You did, right? Yes, tell me, tell me. Where will I get the image if I keep the object at F in the case of concave mirror? Right, uh, you keep the object at F, then I already know everything about the object. At the focus? Infinity. 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 If I, yeah, if I keep the object between C and F, between C and F. 
Ben bile gelemiyorum. <gülüyor> Try to recall the formula. I gave you a hint, right? Technical something. Yes. Use that technique. <gülüyor> Everyone, type down the answers. If you are keeping the object between C and F, where will I get the image? In the case of a concave mirror. Very good. Hilmi Ubaid, you are wrong. Hilmi Ubaid giving me wrong answers. Hilmi, right? Shridhya, you need the next imposition of what? You can type it down, Shridhya. I guess the background noise is disturbing. Fine. So everyone is sharing. It is Beyonce, Hilmi Ubaid, unmute Hilmi Ubaid. Yes, if you keep the object between C and F, we will get the image beyond C in the case of a concave mirror. Yes, help me with Is it clear? Yeah, it's a mistake. It was a mistake. We will get the image beyond C. Don't forget it. So guys, let's begin the chapter 10. So everyone is like, we already started chapter 10. So let's begin the second part of it. That is refraction of fly. There you go. If you guys are ready to face the new part of chapter 10 light that is the new session of refraction of light please do wave your hands wave your hands to the camera everyone so everyone do you have a sip of water around you or beside you someone is doing like this have a sip of water stay energetic we are going to run a hundred meter race not 100 meters is not fair enough, right? We'll run a marathon. 10,000. How many athletes in my session? The real athletes? You don't raise your hands. Just raise your hand to the camera. Don't give the emoji or else I'll assume you have a doubt. Just raise your hands to the camera. I can see everyone over here. Oh God. And she's bossing. And she's dropping some... Masala, so my stamina is what? A 2 crores, 2 lakhs, something. 2 lakhs BHP or what? Anj. Fine. So we'll go ahead, guys. Refraction of light. So what comes to your mind when you hear refraction? What is this refraction different from reflection? Negative. Yes. Okay. And she's sharing negative 2 lakhs or 2 crores. So refraction of light. So compared to that of reflection. Compared to reflection. What is this difference with respect to refraction? What do you think guys? In the case of reflection, if you are considering a surface, consider a plane surface. Oh God. Guys, my artworks, how is it? This is supposed to be a plane surface. Don't think uh, this is some centipede or something. Okay. So here, if you are considering some plane surface, the, if, if an incident ray comes like this and reflects back, reflects back, over here, over here what happens? Reflection happens, right? The ray incidents and reflects away. But in the case of refraction, we will be considering two mediums. In the case of refraction, we will be considering two mediums. Considering two mediums. Medium 1 and medium 2. Guys, don't laugh. This is not this is not two bricks kept one over the other. This is supposed to be two mediums. Don't make faces. You guys know, right? So those who were there in my ninth grade last year, Evelyn and all smiling. Yes, sir. I know you are very close to Picasso. Here's the next. My legendary drawings will come as Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, I know. I know Rajasri. So, guys, this is supposed to be two mediums. So, medium one and medium two. Oh God. Even I forgot to write over what? Medium 1 and medium 2. Oh God. This is the region of separation. So don't forget it. This is the region for separation. Guys, you are on my side, right? You are on my side or Shweta Ma'am's side. So those who are on my side, Show me thumbs up. Those who are on Shweta Ma'am's side, give me a thumbs down. Those who are my fans, my supporters, give me a thumbs up. Those who support Shweta Ma'am, give me a thumbs down. Sen, Rihan is like this. So Shweta Ma'am is actually laughing at my artworks, guys. She is not letting me go ahead. So here, we are considering 
medium 1 and medium 2. So they're supposed to be medium 2. Medium 1 and medium 2. So what are we doing? Actually, when there is a ray of light incidenting through these two mediums, okay, will undergo deviation. Will it will go straight like this? The reflected ray or the emergent ray, not the reflected ray, refracted ray or the emergent ray will go like this? No, right? Obviously, there will be refraction happening at the at the surface of separation. At the surface of separation of two mediums. So in the medium one, it will have it'll be having a particular path. So at this surface of separation between two these two mediums, it will undergo a particular deviation like this or like this. Got it? And after that, the emergent ray will also have a particular deviation. So let's check out it in detail. So guys, how many of you have tried this? Have you ever put something in a glass? Uh, you may have tested with a spoon or something. Tablespoon or something. If you have put it in a glass of water or a glass tumbler. You may have seen like this, right? Yes, exactly. Some of you are sharing bending of light for sure. Actually, the light rays are bending over here, right? Is this pencil broken? No, right? But it appears to be broken, right? We feel it like, okay, the pencil is broken. All pens. But actually, cause of the bending of light inside this medium, we can see that. Or it appears to be broke. So actually what is happening? The light rays entering this medium, or the amount of water in it. What happens? At this area of separation, can you see over here, there is a ring, right? So that is the area of separation or the point of separation between the air and water. Obviously, on top of water, we have air, right? Don't say pencil. That is not a medium. That is an object. So, on top of water, we'll have the medium air. And over here, you have water, right? So, water and air we have. So, at that point of separation, obviously, the light rays entering it will undergo some bending. It will go bending. So, when it bends, what happens? This light ray also bends. So, end of the day, it appears to be broken. Because these light rays gives the images on our eyes, right? Inside our eyes. Without these light rays, we won't be able to see anything. Isn't it? So cause of that, cause of that, cause of this bending of light refraction, the process of refraction happens over here. Understood? So, uh, for example, okay, let's check out uh, in detail we using animation. So that you will have a better clarity of it. When a ray of light incidenting in a particular medium and the light ray bends. And cause of that, first one. And cause of that, cause of that, we, we feel like the object is broken. So actually, the pencil is not breaking over here. Actually, the ray of light is bending. Got it? So some of you are still not clear with the concepts. I, I, I know that from your faces and poorly sharing. So can you explain again for sure? So we'll check out the animation first. Then we'll discuss it so that you'll have a better clarity. Yes, Rahul, sir. Yes. Please go ahead. We are considering a glass tumbler. We are adding a pencil into it. Then what we'll be doing? We'll be filling a particular amount of water over here. So can you see this line of separation between these two medium? Over here we have air, right? Over here we have air. Then it, at this particular point is the area of separation. That is the separation of water and air. Air is a particular medium. Everyone knows it. Air is a medium. Air is a medium. So water is also medium. So two mediums are there, which means as uh, as a unique one we can say medium. Multiple mediums means media, right? So, we are considering air and water. So, actually when we look at it, there will be some amount of light coming and falling onto it, right? So, light is coming through this air and it enters water. It enters water. So, the light rays, when it enters water, at this point of separation, you know what happens? The bending. Rahul sir, can you please? Yes. So, when the light rays enter into this water no at this point of separation actually the light rays bend away 
and the light rays bend away. Imagine, like this pencil, the light rays are coming inside. Okay? And it will bend. From this, water surface. And the emergent ray which comes out of this glass tumbler, the emergent ray which comes out of this glass tumbler will also have a different angle. And also there is one thing, the angle of incidence and the angle of emergence will be equal. But the angle of refraction, the refraction will be happening inside this what? The light, so how is this refraction possible? Refraction of light means the bending of light or the deviation of light when we consider two mediums. Understood? Understood? Fine. Uh, unmute pearl channel, pearl right? Yes. Harry Pray is asking, sir, can we write F is Rahul, sir, F is equal to U plus V divided by U V instead of 1 by F is equal to 1 by U plus 1 by V. Initially, you have to write the formula 1 by F is equal to 1 by V plus 1 by U itself. From there, you can write the next equation. Got it? Because we should have a standardized format, right? So, for exams, you can use that. For sure, for numericals, you can use that. And mid pearl channel, where is pearl? Where is pearl? Yes, understood. Understood, right? Yes. Uh, Iris Abbas. Iris, unmute yourself. Come again? Derivation of which formula? No, uh, not required. Got it? Yeah. So, guys. Uh, yes, who was that? S A on the left end chat box. This one? Yes. Achal. Yes, Achal, can you please raise your hand? Did you understand the concept? Two media, light entering it. So here we'll feel like there is a bending of pencil. So since this is a thin pencil, you're not you, can, you are not able to see the uh, broken pencil properly, right? Actually, the pencil is not broken. The light ray is bending. Yes, Achal, did you understand the concept? Yes, sir. Now you got it, right? Yeah. yeah, fine. So, yeah, I guess you got it. Now, we'll consider two medium. Then I'll show you the ray of light, how it bends, how we'll get the angle of incidence, how we'll get the angle of refraction, how we'll get the angle of emergence. So, incident ray will be coming from a particular uh, media and enter to the next media and go out from the other, from this media. So, two media mediums we will consider. So, we will enter a particular medium, we will go through that, undergo a refraction and it will come out. We will check it. Yes, Rahul sir, can you please show the next animation. So, guys, let's check out the next animation so that you will have better clarity. So, guys... Yes, please pause over there. Please pause over there. So, guys, yes, uh, let let the incident ray come. Yes. So, guys, over here, remember, try to recall the pencil one. We took a tumbler. We had the particular amount of water. We had air on top of it. So, this is the amount of air or glass. Let's over here. We are mentioning it as glass. We'll consider this medium as glass. And on top of it, we have air. Okay, so glass, if you will be thinking, okay, why instead of water we are considering glass? Glass is also a medium, it is a solid substance. Okay, for your reference, you can consider it as water itself. Okay, imagine there is an incident ray coming and incidenting, incidenting to this glass. And over here, inside this, it will undergo a refraction. There will be bending of light. Let's check out. And don't get confused. What is that dotted line coming up? That is the normal. You know what is normal, right? Normal to the surface. That is 90 degree. How many of you know about normal? Wave your hands. Let me see. Those who know about normal. What is a normal? You know it, right? Fine. Yes, Rahul, sir. Normal means particular imaginary line which we are considering with respect to the surface. 90 degree with respect to the surface. Yes, yes. So over here, did you notice there is a bending of light, the light ray is bending, right? Is it coming straight? Is it coming straight like this? No, right? It is actually, can you see over here, it is actually bending. There is a bend, the light ray shown over here, isn't it? So over here, the angle of incidence is marked, that is with respect to the normal, with respect to the incident ray we are considering, we will mark the angle of incidence. 
and inside the medium you can have you can see R marked over here inside the medium you can see R, R marked over here guys can you see inside the medium there is R marked over here with respect to the normal with respect to the refracted ray R is marked over here and also and also you can see over here that in the second medium that is the medium 2 the light ray undergoes refraction not in the first medium itself not when it comes through the first medium itself it is not undergoing deviation but in the second medium medium 2 it is undergoing refraction or deviation the light ray is bending edge got it yes now so you can go ahead please go ahead yes so this light ray in the medium one is marked as A and the light ray in the medium two is marked as B and over here the angle of incidence and angle of refraction is marked and medium one and medium two. So everyone please do note it down in your notebook and those who didn't understand refraction you can uh, raise your hands and mute Sri Diya. Shridhya clear? Shridhya was about to answer or what? Shridhya, your hands were raised. You are not able to hear me? Now it's fine. Guys, you guys can hear me, right? Is it fair enough? Audio? Yeah, it's, your, it's on your side, Shridhya. Tilt the camera a little bit down. Yes. So, did you understand refraction, Sridhya? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in simple terms, now we are not, I have not mentioned emergent ray. As of now, please do understand, we are considering medium 1 and medium 2. So, there will be a ray of light incending through the medium 1. When it enters medium 2, it undergoes refraction. The, act, the actual ray of light is bending. So, this particular phenomenon is termed as refraction of light. Got it? Advait, you got the concept or, or you still have a confusion? And with Advait. Hi Advait. Hi. Yeah, where you're confused? Uh, no. About what? Sorry, uh, I understand. So could you explain like again a, bit, a little bit slower? Okay, slower. Fine. So Advait, think of, don't mute yourself. Keep yourself unmuted. Think about reflection. So what happens? Imagine a ray of light is coming like this in the case of reflection. And imagine this is a plane surface. Okay? Imagine this is a plane surface. And consider the incident ray which is coming, what will happen? It will reflect away, right? It will reflect away. Yes. It will not go inside. Why? Because we are considering a plane surface. But consider a particular mid medium where the light can pass through it. Okay? So, oh, here we are considering glass or water. Through glass or water, light will pass through it, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Imagine if you are considering coconut shell over here. Will the light ray pass through it? No, right? It won't even reflect back. So, reflection and refraction is not possible in the case of a coconut shell. But, over here, we are considering the glass or water. So, light can pass through glass or water, right? Adwe? Yes, sir. It will pass through it. If you put a torch light and uh, try to pass a particular amount of light through glass or water, it will pass through it, right? But, will it pass, will it pass through the same path? Obviously, it will have a bending of light, right? Inside the glass or water. Did you observe? Did you observe? Okay. You might have seen some animations in cartoon or movies or something where those who try to catch fishes, no? They'll put some knob to it, right? So in the pictorial representation, actually, those who want to shoot the fish or try to fix that knob onto the fish, no, the fish will be actually a little bit away from their target. But those who are expert in it knows that light rays are actually bending. Their target is on point. Got it? So over here, yeah. the light ray which is entering the glass is actually bending. So imagine, this is the medium over here. And light ray, is it going straight? No, right? It is actually bending in the middle. Over here, can you see? Over here in the middle, it's actually bending. So, bending cause of what? This particular medium 2, can you see the medium 2 written glass? 
So the particles inside the glass medium or the matter present in medium 2 makes this bending of light. That is the reason for it. And this phenomena of bending of light in the medium which we are considering is termed as refraction. The phenomena which makes the light ray to reflect back is termed as reflection. Understood the difference between reflection and refraction? Got the concept? Yes. Sir. Yes. Thank yes. you. Fine. Yes. So, yeah. How many of you have noted it down, drawn it, drawn the diagram? I've shown the animation and kept it over here. Why? Because if I draw and show the diagram, no, you guys won't understand. Because I do give the representations very well with the pen you guys know it right so this diagram is fair enough i guess everyone is saying sir please don't remove the animation please don't draw it this is very good show some pictures even if you have to draw something please don't draw that is the phases you make when i draw something on the screen very sad about it not gonna come for you for the next session bye bye so everyone done Mukda, Sunil, unmute yourself. Mukda, what's your doubt? Go for it. Hi, Mukda, Sunil, are you there? Mukda, yes, Mukda, do one thing. Do type your concerns chat box. No, some of you are asking, sir, the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection, refraction will be the same or not? No. The angle of incidence and angle of emergence will be the same. We'll discuss about it. Angle of incidence and angle of refraction can't be, it's not like it can't be the same, but always in general case, we can't consider it as same. It is not same. Some of Iris is sharing. Sir, is it same? No. Angle of incidence will be different from angle of refraction. It will be lesser comparatively. Angle of incidence will be greater and angle of refraction refraction will be lesser or angle of refraction will be greater and angle of incidence will be lesser. It depends. Yes, uh, Achal. Unmute Achal. Achal, what's your doubt? Everyone done drawing it? Give me a thumbs up. Yes, Achal. Sir, sir the incident, uh, the incident ray comes straight down through it uh, like the glass will bend that is refraction right the ray of light will bend inside the glass or inside the medium too yes. like it'll go straight down yeah no it won't go it won't go straight down it'll bend for sure what if the ray comes? okay you are asking what if the incident ray is coming like this, right? Yeah. Still it will bend. Still it will bend inside the medium. Either to the right or left. Understood? Inside the medium too, which we are considering over here, it will bend for sure. If it's something, if it's a transparent object. Understood? Yeah, okay. Fine. So will it be towards the normal or away from the normal? It will always be away from the normal. Because the light ray comes like this, right? Like normal, light ray comes through the normal. Obviously, it will bend away from the normal. Understood? Achal. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, Mukda, I didn't get your question in the chat box yet. Your hands are raised and you are not able to unmute. And what happened? Let me know. Quick. Everyone is done with the diagram. Let's go ahead. If the incident ray uh, stands to the, yeah, it's the same question, right? Stands on the normal, then what if the incident ray stands on the normal? Got the answer, Mukda? Understood my explanation? Understood, Mukda? If you got it, give me a thumbs up. Yes. Mukda? Yes. yes. So, yeah, before we go with the Rahul sir, can you please, take, yeah. So, which are, okay, the answers are over here. Everyone saw the answer, so what? You guys didn't see, right? Fine. So which are the different media or mediums involved here? The animation which we have checked out. 
which are all the media or mediums involved here. Fine, unmute. Aris Abbas, Aris Abbas, you have a query or you want to answer? Asil, if your query is done, you can lower your hands. And if you have raised your hands to answer, it's okay. Okay, Aris, query is done or what? Unmute Aris Abbas. Yes. So answer. Answer. Which are the different media or mediums involved here? Or air and water. Air and water for sure. So, in the, so you guys will be thinking it was glass, right? I'm asking about the case of the pencil. So we are considering water, right? So in that particular example, it is supposed to be air and water. Got it? Now, Dhruv will be answering me. Dhruv in the middle, straight to Rahul sir. Dhruv Jaban Putra. Yes. So let me know what are what are the what are the me uh, what happens to the path of the light. Show the man once again. Sir, the path of the light uh, turns. Uh, Can't see it. Share it to me. Come again. Sir, the path of the light uh, turns slightly. The path of the light turns. Turns slightly means what? No, the path of the light bends. bends. It bends, right? Which means? Yes, sir. It will undergo? Refraction. It will undergo refraction, it will undergo deviation. Got it? It will undergo deviation. Fine. So where does the deviation of the ray take place? Who will be answering me this? Where will the deviation take place? Cushy. Cushy. Yes, Cushy. Please do let me know where will we get the deviation? Yes, Kushi, where, where, will we, where we can see the deviation in the case of refraction of light. Come again. I said it is uh, in medium 2. The in medium 2, actually, in medium 2, there is a particular point of it. Yes, the separation area, at the point of separation. At the point of separation, at the point of separation, yes. at the point of separation, we can check it out. You can check it out, the deviation at the point of separation or the surface of separation. Very good. Very good. Uh, who was that? Who was that? Okay. So guys, can we go ahead? Everyone got the concept, right? The ray of light entering water undergoes a deviation at the point on the surface where the media gets separated. At the point of separation or, the, or at the surface of separation, we can see the deviation. So in the case of refraction of light, it undergoes deviation. Got it? Clear everyone? Any confusions regarding refraction of light? So guys, this is very important. It's not, we should not be like, yeah, somehow I got it, I understood it. The concept should be thorough for you. Then we'll discuss about the emergent ray as well. Got it? Fine. So, why the ray of light entering water undergoes a deviation at the point on the surface where the media gets separated? Cause of, cause of the refractive index of the medium we are considering, cause of its optical density. So you guys will be thinking, what is this optical density? What is this refractive index? Don't worry, we'll learn about the refractive index and optical density. Don't get confused with it. So uh, please do note it down everyone. The ray of light entering water undergoes a deviation at the point on the surface where the media gets separated. Ray of light entering water undergoes a deviation at the point on the surface where the media gets separated. The reason for it is optical density. Don't write it now. Just for your reference, I am writing. Don't write it in your notebook. This one you can write. Don't write optical density and refractive index now. We will discuss it. So as of now, please do know, please do know this down. Optical density and refractive index. The ray of light entering water undergoes a deviation at the point on the surface where the media gets separated. 
So Haripriya wants the last line. Why? Haripriya. How many of you wanted the last line? Please do note it down. Yes, very good. Some of you are sharing because light travels at different speeds in the two different mediums for sure. The speed of light will increase and decrease. Yes, we'll consider the speed of light as well. We'll discuss it. We'll consider the speed of light in different mediums for sure. Thorn. Once you are done writing, once you are, once you are done noting it down, please do let me know. Yes, the speed of light, there will be change, there will be change in speed of light for sure. Yes, unmute Sridhya, Sridhya, what's your doubt? Go for it. Uh, sir, on the next slide, uh, uh, the Yes, it is optical density and refractive index. We'll discuss it. I told you, Shridhya. Do you remember? Did you hear it? Yeah, I told that. I told that. We'll go ahead with optical density, refractive index. Don't worry. Regin. Yes. Yes, Regin. What's your doubt? Okay, we're about to answer. Mohammed Nurul. Come again, how will we know? If it deviates to the right or left, uh, uh, it, it depends. Okay, how will we know the ray of light will deviate to the right or left? It will depend on the medium. It will depend on the medium. It will depend on its angle as well. So, for example, so for example, if you are considering a medium, with uh, what we say, very uh, less optical density, what will happen? For uh, you'll learn about optical density, anyways. So, if a particular ray, since someone asked, right, what will happen if there is an incident ray coming through the normal? So, so we said we have shared, okay, it'll reflect away from the normal. But if it comes with high refractive index, straight to the material, and the optical density is lesser, what will happen? There will not be any particular refraction happening over there. The ray will go straight, which means it will bend towards now. But, for example, you are confused. How will we know if the ray of light will incident to the left or right? So, there is particular cases with respect to, with respect to the medium which we are considering. So, if a ray of light is incidenting from this angle, what will happen? Will it, will it uh, refract away from the normal or towards normal? It will refract towards normal rate. And for example, if a ray of light is coming like this, obviously it won't bend like this in the case of refraction. In the case of refraction, it will go in the same angle. For example, if it comes from this side, it will go in the same angle. And consider if there is a ray of light incidenting like this, and if we are considering the normal, it will refract like this towards normal. And won't uh, refract like like this, or like what we say in the same direction of the ray of incidence or the angle of incidence. Understood, Muhammad Nurul. Depends on the angle where the incident ray comes. Yes, fine. Got it, everyone. So, guys, such queries and doubts, no, very important. It's not something that, like I'm just helping Nurul. I'm just help, giving some extra data for everyone. Got it? So I told, if there is an incident ray coming with high refractive index directly to the normal, it will not, will not be undergoing refraction. Why? Because the material won't have much, what we say, optical density or uh, uh, the material won't have any other disturbances happening inside it. So that optical density will be either higher or lower. So it depends on that. But if its optical density is changing, if an incident ray is coming through the normal, it will reflect away. But in ideal case, it will reflect towards the normal. Who asked that? Someone asked that. Uh, Achil. Achil Krishna. Can you please raise your hand? 
Got the concept, Achal Krishna? Understood it? Give me a thumbs up if you got it. So anyone else? Any doubts? Any doubts? No, right? So Rahul sir, can you please show the next animation? Yes, it also depends on the medium it is going through. Yes, Mukda. It will depend on the medium for sure because the medium will decide, will give the optical density or it will have a particular refractive index value, right? So when you learn about optical density and refractive index, you will have a better clarity of it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yes. Unmute Sridhya. Unmute Sridhya. Sridhya has some concerns that I didn't understand anything in... In, in what, in the, in, with respect to optical density and refractive index or the entire process of refraction? Is it that, uh, the, um, optical density and refraction. To the left or right? To the left or right, that, that depends on the angle. Yeah, what we'll do is, when we give, give you some examples, no, you'll have a better clarity. So, for example, Sridhya. Oh, God. Sridhya, for example, we are considering two mediums, okay? Imagine, we are considering two mediums, Rahul sir, over here. Yes. So consider this as medium 1 and consider this as medium 2. So, Sridhya, if the incident ray is coming from this angle, it won't bend through the same angle. It won't bend through the same angle. Instead, what will happen? Instead, if an incident ray is coming from this particular angle with respect to the normal, it will bend towards the normal like this. And there are chances for it to bend away from the normal as well, but with respect to the medium we are considering. But the only thing is you have to remember, it won't, rem uh, it won't uh, bend in the same angle with respect to the incident ray. That is the only thing you have to remember. It will always bend. It will always bend the opposite side to the opposite side understood even if the angle of incidence is like this even if the angle of incidence oh god even if the angle of incidence we are considering has a particular value there are chances that the, that the ray of light or the angle of refraction is much lesser compared to that of the angle of incidence Got it. Now you understand, understood regarding the angle of it. It won't be in the same direction. Yes. Come again. Can be that angle. Can be the? Can undergo without any deviation. Can pass through without any deviation or what? No, it can be to the left side too. Like to the left, this side. Yes, not possible understood to the same direction itself to the same direction itself understood uh, Sridhya yes, yes. so uh, there is uh, for, for better clarity we will learn about optical density refractive index and rarer medium and denser medium so in that case, you will have a better clarity. So, so, so to which direction this incident ray will move, we'll consider the rarer medium and denser medium. So always if an incident ray comes through a particular medium, what will happen? Either it will bend through the rarer medium to denser medium or denser medium to rarer medium, right? So we'll consider that, we'll consider the rarer medium and denser medium. So we'll discuss it. So we are not yet over that. So, this is the particular uh, figure which I have drawn it. I hope you do remember it. We are considering the normal. We are considering... So, guys, can you see this bending with the same angle, right? Not same angle. Just uh, like what you say. In the same direction, we have the uh, deflection. Or the deviation. Not deflection, deviation. Got it? It's not bending in the, in the, in the, in the same direction of the incident ray. Or in the opposite direction of the incident ray. Got it? Anyways. When we discuss about the rarer medium and denser medium, you will have a better clarity on the concept. I know most of you, even if you say, sir, I got it, still you might be having some minor confusions. So we'll have a detailed look over it. So yes, before we go, Tal, sir, can you please uh, show the next animation? Quick. Yes. 
So here, yes, can you please play it? Yes. Go ahead. So we are considering the incident ray. Incident ray we have considered, we have marked the angle of it. Can you please put it down? A little bit down. Yes. So over here, we can consider the angle of incidence. Angle of incidence, we are considering a normal, we are considering the incident ray. And, the, and over here, can you see the refracted ray? Can you see the refracted ray just passing through the medium? And there is an emergent ray coming out of the medium as well. Also, can you please go ahead? There is an emergent ray coming out of the medium over here. Can you see guys over here? Can you see? So over here, we'll be considering the angle of emergence, the angle of refraction and the angle of incidence. So these three angles we are considering. Got it? So as of now, just have this understanding of angle of incidence. What is angle of incidence? What is the angle of refraction? Where will we consider the angle of emergence? Okay. So guys, can you see a dotted line over here? This is the actual path. Can, so can you please put the animation behind? Just a second, guys. Behind. Put it behind me. Just a second, guys. So the, uh, here, in this case, you will understand. Not yet. You will understand the, em the angle of emergence we are considering that. Yeah. Oh, here. So guys, over here, we have marked the angle of incidence, right? That is, with respect to the incident ray incidenting, incidenting to a particular medium, we are considering a particular angle of incidence with respect to the normal ray. Then there is, there is a reflect, refracted ray passing through the medium. So the ref, angle of refraction is marked over here, can you see? Everyone, are you able to see, focus over here, the angle of refraction with respect to the normal. Note ahead. Did you see the angle of refraction mapped over here? And this dotted line over here is the straight path of the incident ray. It's the straight path of the incident ray. But it's actually not going like this. Why I have marked this straight path? Even if, even if the light rays are not going like that? It is because to show that there is deviation happening over here. There is deviation happening over here can you see the yellow lines guys are you able to see the yellow lines you can see right so uh path i hope you are listening over here path so over here you can see that the actual yellow lines that is the incident ray of light is bending inside this medium so it undergoes refraction and we are marking the angle of refraction over here with respect to the normal then we are marking, then we are marking the emergent angle of emergence. That is the emergent ray which is coming out of the medium 2 with respect to the medium 2. So here we have considered glass. So from the medium 2, there is an angle of emergence. There is an emergent ray coming out of it and we are marking the angle of emergence with respect to the normal marked over here. So it is marked as R2 over here. Are you able to see guys R2? So this uh, surface of separation for the emergent ray, we have marked some value uh, O, G, H, M and all, don't get confused with it. So path of the actual ray, we have marked it as P and over here, with respect to the angle of uh, emergence, we have marked I, uh, I2 and uh, R2 and all, don't get confused with it. So please do consider R just R2, that is the angle of emergence. Angle of emergence, angle of refraction, and angle of incidence. These three terms, keep it in your mind in detail. We'll discuss about it in, in the next session. What we'll be doing, we'll be considering the rarer medium, the denser medium. So as of now, since you don't know what is optical density, you'll be thinking what is rarer medium, denser medium and all. So when we discuss about rarer medium, denser medium and all, you'll have an understanding of optical density, refractive index and all, and we'll discuss all the markings over here. So as of now, what you have to do, two, two mediums we are considering, there is an incident ray coming 
and will pass through the medium and will undergo refraction there will be an angle of refraction and this ray of light will come out, out of the medium that is the, uh, the emergent ray and will have an angle of emergence with respect to the normal understood unmute region yes we do have some of you are asking sir do we have exam today for sure yes region what's your doubt Mukda drop your doubt in the chat box your mic is not working right yes, sir. region what's your doubt Yes, yes, through the normal, if it comes through the normal with high refractive index. Only in the case of high refractive index, it will pass through without any deviation. The angle of incidence and angle of refraction will be the same, without bending. For the rays which is incidenting through the normal with high refractive index, it will undergo. In certain mediums without refraction. Understood? Rigid? Yeah. So guys, don't get confused. Some of you are asking about the denotation M, M dash. It is the normal which we are considering. M and M dash is the normal we are considering. So in detail, I'll take it. I'll take it in detail about the denotation. Don't worry. As of now, if I'm giving everything all together, no, you guys will be confused. You can't take everything all together. Got it? Yes. So, SP, who was that? So, can you explain the angle? We just learned SP in the chat box. Yes. Okay. Well, Pearl Chandler, raise your hand. Let me know. Did you understand the angle of incidence, angle of refraction, and angle of emergence? These three angles. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Fine. So, the angle of emergence Yes. So, there will be a. Yeah, please keep yourself unmuted. Pearl. So when there is an incident ray passing through this medium, obviously it will come out of the medium, right? Obviously, it will be a transparent material where the light will pass through it. So this ray of light which comes out of the medium will make an angle with respect to the normal we are considering. Do you know what is a normal? Normal to the surface. That is 90 degree to the surface. So we are considering a normal. Can you see a dotted white line M, M dash? So there is an emergent ray coming out of it. That is the yellow line over here. So this emergent ray will make an angle with respect to the normal. That is R2 over here. That is the angle of emergence. Understood? Pearl? Yeah. Yes, yes. Devananda. Devananda is asking, sir. The normal is always represented in dotted lines. For sure. Yes, in dotted lines. The case of reflection also, you might have seen it, right? So everyone got the concept, give me a thumbs up till now. Not the more complex one or something which we didn't discuss or rare dense optical density refractive index, not that. The things which we discussed till now, is it clear? Give me a thumbs up. Then only I'll go ahead with the exam doubt. I don't want anyone to have a doubt. It's not like, okay, don't ask me doubt. I don't want anyone to be confused. If you have a confusion, then ask me. Give me a thumbs up guys, give me a thumbs up, please be honest. Kaushal, right? Kaushal, what's your doubt? Yeah, I don't have a doubt, sir. You have hand raised. Oh, sir, I thought. Okay, instead of thumbs up, you gave me a hand raised, right? Fine, fine. So everyone got it, right? Fine. Then we'll go ahead with the exam time. Yes, Rahul, sir, you can remove the animation. We'll go ahead with the exam time. Guys, there you go. So click on the exam tab, submit your responses real quick. Yes. So guys, if you're not finding the exam sheet, uh, exam tab, don't worry, just wait a second. Okay. Shifia is sharing the class was interesting. Thank, thank you, Shifia. The thing is, you should get the concept. Whatever happens, I'm ready to put some extra efforts. You can ask me. Like Pearl is asking, sir, I didn't get what is that angle of emergence. It's okay. It's completely fine. You're not making a big mistake or sin. Some of you will be confused for sure because it's a new concept for you. It's completely fine. It's normal. Not the normal in the refracted ray or refraction. It's completely normal to ask doubts or getting confused. You guys are students, you guys are learning. It's a new topic for you. 
so okay good zaid zaid's doubt is cleared or what shall i please ask yes zaid type your doubt type your query in the chat box zaid khul quick submit your responses guys in the exam tab Okay, so I have a doubt in the first question of exam. Don't worry. We'll discuss it. Okay, Harry Priya is asking, Sir, in the first question, does it mean the mediums involved in the exam or in general? We are asking in general. We are asking in general. Refraction will happen in... We have discussed all the three examples we have already discussed. So you know. Three mediums we have already discussed. Air, water or air, liquid, gas. In all three mediums. Refraction is happening or not. You guys know it. For sure. Don't get confused. No. No Linda. Linda is asking sir did we discuss relative refractive index and all don't worry if, the, if you have a question related to refractive index don't worry what we'll be doing we'll be excluding the marks for it got it that's why i told you guys if you have a question which is something which we didn't discuss today or in the session i'll be excluding the marks for it if you made a mistake in that particular question don't worry you're not going to lose anything you'll be getting 10 on 10 so in the response sheet it will be 8 on 10 but I'll be the I'll be the one who is providing marks for the to the admin team right so those who made a mistake in the questions which I didn't discuss will be getting marks for it free marks so everyone is happy yeah so put always put five questions which we didn't discuss so that always will get 10 on 10 right not possible don't act smart yes unmute Fatima Zara Accidentally click the wrong option. How do I check it again? Yes, so like I can run from the wrong option. I can check it again? Not possible. I'll discuss the questions. I'll discuss it so that you will get to know. Don't worry. The session itself, I'll discuss the question. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you are sharing. Who is SA? Please check it down the chat box. Adwait. Adwait is sharing. Sir, I randomly clicked options for refractive index and I got it all right. So, how many of you were lucky enough? Even though you, you were not aware of the answer, still you got it right. How many of you are like like it like that like perfect answer even if you didn't uh, you didn't understand the question or even if you didn't know knew the, know the answer so you'll be like yeah I will guess it somehow and still I got the perfect answer yes even me some of you are sharing fine so I hope everyone is done with it can I go ahead yes what are the mediums involved in refraction which are in which all mediums we have discussed air water and solids, right? Glass is a solid material. Air we have all already considered. Air is air means gases, right? And liquid water we have considered. In all these three mediums, refraction is happening, right? So refraction is involved in all these three mediums. So the right answer is all of the above. Now, what happens to the path of light in refraction? It'll undergo re deviation, reflects back. Does it undergo deviation? None of the above. In the case of refraction, obviously, it undergoes deviation. Now, what is the deviation of the, where does the deviation of the ray take place? At the surface of separation, at the surface of denser medium, at the surface of rarer medium, none of the above. So you'll be thinking, which one is the rarer and denser medium? So since I didn't discuss, you don't have to get confused with it, right? But we have discussed the surface of separation. So the deviation of the ray take place, at the surface of separation, we have already discussed this. So, since you knew the answer, that was the first one, you are not, you, you, you don't have to get confused with the second and third option, right? Yes, unmute Linda. Hi, Linda. 
Linda, were you playing with the pen or you were raising your hand? Linda was like this. No doubt, right? So air has higher refractive index compared to that of solids. True or false? Not sure it's better to skip. Everyone might have clicked, but it's better to skip since we didn't discuss refractive index. But air has lower refractive index compared to that of uh, solids. So statement was false. Second one is the right option. If you have clicked it wrong, no word. You'll be getting free marks. The refractive index of one medium with respect to another is called. It is supposed to be relative refractive index the third option was the right answer if you made a mistake it's okay fine so everyone how many of you got 10 on 10 how many of you got 10 on 10 sir even i got it right by guessing the fourth one of the refractive index so not fair so this like sir not fair i clicked everything and you are giving free marks. So yeah, everyone, most of you got 10 on 10, right? Don't worry guys, don't worry guys. If you made a mistake in the question which we didn't discuss, that's completely fine. So you got, guys, those raised your hands to say, sir, I got 10 on 10, you can lower it. Fine. You can lower it. Mukda, you have a doubt? No. Okay, okay, path, no doubt, no doubt, right? Fine. If you have understood all the particular concepts which we have discussed today, give me a double thumbs up to the camera. Ishan is asking something, sir, do you watch anime? No, I don't. Why, Ishan? Ishan, do you watch anime? Don't. So, no doubts and queries, right? Please don't forget to revise what you have learned. And with respect to reflection concept also, please do revise everything. Got it? So, those who wanted to leave, you can leave. Ishan wants to ask something. Yes, Ishan, why do you want to know about it? I don't watch anime. <sighs> Simply, right? Fine. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.